Having a good hardware setup is vital for online training. My name is Brandon Ramkin and I'm the head of department for concept art and illustration here at CG Spectrum. We're an online school that has been around since 2011 and we have students and mentors from 90 different countries around the world, all training online. And we're here to provide you some tips to help you out. Comfortable chair. As digital artists sit in front of their screens for hours on end, it's very important for us to be comfortable and safe. In some situations, you might start to feel certain pain and uh, it might even um, precipitate into something more serious if you're sitting on something that is not supporting your weight properly or cutting off blood flow. So if you're ever gonna spend a lot of money on a piece of furniture, it's gonna be that chair that you spend hours on. Uh, as you paint, as you draw, and as you give feedback to students. Whiteboards. For myself, I tend to have to jot down a lot of notes and reminders uh, as I both work for freelance and uh, mentor students. And so it's important that you find something that works for you. Whiteboards are nice because they're less cumbersome than notepads, but notepads can certainly do the same job. In any case, you just wanna make sure that you're organized with uh, things that may come up out of nowhere. So try whiteboards. Computer quality. When you're working on high-end assets or you have many windows open or programs open, maybe Photoshop or other 2D uh, painting software as well as 3D software, it's very important to make sure that your computer can handle it. Well, the cost is sometimes prohibitively expensive, it's important that you're not held back in these situations uh, by the speed of your computer. Especially when you're providing feedback as a service, it can be very embarrassing if your computer freezes a lot and it cannot open multiple files, say if you have a lot of students in, in a feedback session. And so it is good to make sure you foot the bill for something that can run these programs. Uh, and a lot of the times, especially if you don't do a lot of 3D work, uh, you don't have to buy the highest end PC to have something that can uh, make sure that you run these programs well. Desk setups. Whether you like to sit or stand, it's very important with your desk setup to make sure that you have enough space to work. Certainly for an online mentor, you don't want to be interrupting your feedback sessions because things are falling off your desk or you're having to articulate in weird ways to be able to reach your tablet or digitized surface. A larger desk is obviously gonna allow you to be able to move freely and paint and draw without being encumbered and that's gonna be a higher quality experience when providing feedback uh, to students. Microphone quality. So as an online mentor, it's very important, especially if you provide feedback as a service, to have a higher quality microphone. This will eliminate static and background noise for the most part and produce a higher quality experience uh, for your students. Camera quality. If you're providing feedback online as a service uh, where students are paying money, you can definitely help bump up the quality of your product by making sure that you're showing up in a clear way for your students. A medium to high tier camera will obviously get you there. There's lots of affordable options out there that are still high quality, but I think it's important at that point, uh, since they're watching you provide them feedback, that you show up with a high quality uh, camera. Digitizers. As digital artists, we need some way to be able to paint and draw on our computers. And so we have a lot of options out there uh, today with tablets and uh, digitizers that will help us do that. I've always used Wacom tablets uh, as long as I can remember. I used to have some really old, big uh, tablets that uh, some were some of the first Wacom products. Since then, I've used everything from bamboo to uh, some of the more mobile, smaller Cintiqs like the 12 and the 13 inch, upwards of the 20 to 32 inch uh, Cintiq Pros. So there are varying use cases. Uh, the larger 
Cintiqs are obviously going to give you the best quality, the most screen real estate. That's more something I use in my uh, studio. The mid-size Cintiqs or the smaller Cintiqs are better if you need to travel and still work and not haul around a giant computer and, and Cintiq. And of course, their smaller bamboo tablets have been useful to me uh, when I go on trips further from home for shorter periods of time where I really can't lug around some of the, the heavier technology. Hopefully this video has provided you some good tips and tricks to make your mentoring more dynamic. Make sure to follow us on our YouTube channel and check out some of the other tips and tricks videos and to go to cgspectrum.com to check out some of our courses that are available.